Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we are going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper and your Bible. And let's get started. Why does the one who find a wife obtain favor from the Lord? Why does the one who finds a wife obtain favor from the Lord? The book of Proverbs is uh, featured in the Bible's wisdom literature and it contains practical guidelines and moral principles for developing sound character and making wise and the beneficial decisions in life. And quite often, various topics are explored within Proverbs, including marriage and family. And one such tenet for wise men suggests that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, Proverbs 18.22. It is very important to understand that the Proverbs are not meant as uh, divine promises or guarantees, and these maxisms are general principles. Both positive and negative statements about wives appear in Proverbs. For example, when we look at uh, Proverbs 19 verse 13, it tells us that a quarrelsome wife is like the constant or a constant dripping of a leaky roof. And Proverbs 25 verse 24 warns that it is better to live on a corner of the roof than to share a house with a quarrelsome woman. And even to further stress the point, in Proverbs 21 verse 19, it tells us that it is better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. (laughs) Even much more, on the other hand, The Bible tells us that uh, a prudent wife is from the Lord. Proverbs 19 verse 14. So we can be confident that Proverbs 18 22 implies that the one who finds a good wife obtains favor from the Lord. And Proverbs 12 verse 4 confirms a wife of noble character is her husband's crown. But a disgraceful wife is like decay in his bones. Friends, in Hebrew, the wording of uh, Proverbs 18.22 is uh, strikingly similar to that of Proverbs 8.35, which says, For those who find me, find life, and receive favor from the Lord. Me in this verse refers to wisdom, suggesting that after wisdom itself, the finest of God's blessing is an excellent wife. Proverbs 31.10 It makes a a parallel analogy. It tells us that a wife of noble character, who can find? She's worth far much more than rubies. And of course, uh, you can compare the same with Proverbs 8 verse 11. So, the one who finds a wife, the Bible tells us, obtains favor from the Lord. But the, the, the interference or the difference is that it's not just uh, any and every wife will bring favor from from God that, that's the main big big issue here Ecclesiastes another biblical book of wisdom literature makes this point even more clear it tells us in Ecclesiastes uh, 7 verse 26 and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Proverbs 14 verse 1, it warns us that the wise woman builds a house, but with her own hands the foolish one tears hers down, and a prudent God-fearing wife is a treasure, an excellent thing for a man to find. Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 31, it elaborates on the blessings of a wife of a noble character. 
and to be precise this this passage is an acrostic poem extolling the virtues of a virtuous woman let's have a look on uh, proverbs 31 verse 10 to 31 listen to what the bible says here and tell me what you understand proverbs 31 from verse 10 it says who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil she will do him good and not evil all the days of our life and she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands she is like the merchant's ship she bringeth her food from afar she rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens she considers uh, a field and buys it with the fruit of her hands she plants a vineyard and she guarded her loins with strength and strengthens her arms she perceives that uh, her merchandise is good and her candle does not uh, out by night she lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff she stretches out her hands to the poor yeah she stretches forth her hands to the needy she is not afraid of sword or of of snow or for her household for all a household that cloth with scarlet she makes herself coverings of the tapestry her clothing is silk and purple her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth the among the elders of the land she makes fine linen and sells it and she delivers girdles unto the merchants strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come She opens a mouth with uh, wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household and eats not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and uh, call her blessed, her husband also. And uh, he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain but uh, a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised give her of the fruit of her hands and let let her own works praise her in the gates so this, this is really a good uh, really really good uh, passage there about the virtuous woman right Now guys you have to understand one thing that uh, this passage that I've just told you is uh, this a pure acrostic poem extolling the virtues or the value of a virtuous woman and the poem's opening question emphasizes the rarity of a virtuous woman and implies that if a man finds such a wife for himself he will have obtained a great favor from the lord for she is worth far more than rubies and the woman described in proverbs that one is trustworthy capable intelligent diligent generous kind bringing her husband goodness and blessings in her whole life and the virtuous wife bringing favor from the lord is both wise is both wise and humble strong and gentle through her judicious business dealings forward thinking competence tire tirelessness and strength she really has a good character she enhances the family's dignity she adds esteem to her husband and gives him a good reputation and is deeply loved by the entire household for these reasons her children call her blessed and her husband praises her saying there are many virtuous and capable women in the world but you surpass them all above all this this is a woman who loves and fears the lord a man who finds such a wife 
then my friend this is the person who obtains favor from the Lord the person who finds that kind of person <laughs> that's huge favor my friends that's huge 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 absolutely big huge favor from the Lord and that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you hope you've learned something you can always uh, download this podcast to listen later offline or, or share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite and uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new podcast. And if you'd like to know more about our ministry or uh, lend your support to your channel, please, you can uh, check out our website, keithmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you the next one.